Hey everybody, Tom here, and today I'm going to continue playing The Seventh Continent, and specifically this scenario, The Crystal Song. Um, I am going to be starting part two right now, and because of that, I'm going to actually show you how the game resumes. So in the last video, I showed you how to save the game. Now I want to show you exactly how it resumes. I don't plan on doing this in every single video. I'll probably just have things set up, uh, ready to go. But for learning to resume, we'll just go ahead and pop the box open. Oh, it's, it's so like suctiony every time and go ahead and take out the rule book I went ahead and just put this um, what was this called again it's like the, the traveler's log or something I just put it in there I don't even know how much I'm going to be using it um, but it's there let me go ahead and grab uh, one of these grab my um, you know box of wonderfulness and no oh, I don't even need to grab the box because I put all of the things that I need and want right here so let me just go ahead and pull these things out, and then I can just put this back in its place. And then, as I mentioned before, uh, it's a little tricky to get these boxes out. I gotta find, like, handles, or if I put, like, a piece of fabric underneath it, I could just pull on it. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. Hold on, hold on. Let's get this out. There we go. Okay. Take out the cards. Whoa. Put this back in. Sure, why not? And <laughs> making a mess. All right, there we go. That's that. Get it out of the way. And we're just going to go ahead and take our um, cards. And I'll put them up here today. Yes. And um, I'm going to find something in the meantime to prop those up so you guys can get a better view of those cards. But uh, here, I'll put the rule book out to the side so I've got it close by, the extra guides. All right, so now all we need to do is pull out the cards that we used to save. So uh, remember, I mentioned this in the end of the last video, is that the rule book has you normally have all of the cards from the past um, next to this card, and you would then sort them into their places. Uh, but I'm going to do that as a part of saving just because that's more my nature. And then right here, I have all of my saved cards. So I'm just reaching in there, grabbing them, and now, with a little bit of pushing, that one's ready to go. So with all of our cards, we just need to make our play area again, and I'll go ahead and keep these cards. I think I'm going to keep these cards nearby this time. So we've got our character, who is poisoned, and I did put some subtitles on here at the end of the last video. Uh, just remember, when I got this card here, I added it and said that I needed to discard two cards because I had two red hands. And a user, I'm so sorry, I totally didn't look up the name before I uh, started recording, pointed out that I should have only discarded one card because um, this technically wasn't a part of my hand yet, is my understanding. So that's okay. I'll just try to keep that in mind, and thank you for pointing that out for sure. So we have um, our character and our status, and then we had um, our five different ideas so far. I've got to start making these a thing, otherwise I'm going to lose them as I start to get more ideas as the game goes on. Then we had our satchel and journal, so we just grab these items here, and these are things that we just save from game to game. And then we have our saved items, and remember the order, the direction of the, the orientation of this card was showing you what you should put your die number on. So I need to put a die with a three on this. Don't worry, I'll rearrange the play area and make it prettier here in a second. But I put a three on that. And then I go ahead and put a one here, and a different user pointed out wisely that um, there's a way to combine items. I'll talk more about that in this video, uh, but I probably should have combined these two items so that they didn't use two separate dice, but rather one dice each. But for now, I didn't do it at the time, so I can't go back and do it now, and that's okay. I'll be eating soon. I'm going to go ahead and put this down here as well. Again, I'll make it pretty um, in just a moment. And then... We've got our location. I'm going to go add that to the map here in just a second, but while we're over here, we've got our discard pile. I could just put these dice ones back in the save category. I think I even put them behind. I don't remember where I put all those other dice. I'll have to look. We've got our discard pile, and um, in that discard pile was all of these cards. That's important. We can't forget that stuff, so I'll put that here. And then we have our action deck, which I am putting here. Um, and it was all of the rest of these. Oh, there's all those dice. Okay. 
cool. So I'll go ahead and put these in the save slot. All right, now let's go add this to the map. And we really could put this anywhere, but I remember that we, uh, there was a card that goes above it, and there was stuff that could go to the side. I don't know. I can slide this around. It really doesn't matter. So we'll just go ahead and start there, and let me grab my character card, or my character uh, dude guy, and he was standing right here. And then what we need to do is we need to refill these slots here with exploration cards. And don't forget that for this scenario, uh, we need to replace one of the regular exploration cards with one of the crystal ones. So let me just grab a crystal one, just randomly, and then I'm just going to come in here and grab one of these. I'm pretty sure I shuffled when we were saving, uh, but I'm just going to go grab those. And then we just need to choose which way we want them to go. Um, let's put the crystal one over this way, and let's put the regular one right there. And that crease is just a little bit there. I've been kind of hanging the pad, hoping or the mat, hoping that it would straighten up. And I think it is straighter than it was before, but it's still not perfect. Uh, but either way, that was it. We are now ready to replay. So just a quick recap um, of things we had talked about near the end of the scenario is probably pretty important for me to go find a place uh, for wood, and then I want to build a fire. And then once I've got the fire, I can go ahead and cook some of this meat. Um, again, I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for not having combined these items, but that's neither here nor there. At this point, they are separated. Had I decided to combine them, let's just talk about that. When you receive a new item, however you receive it, you could choose to combine it with any of the other things. And so, for example, they even talk about an example similar to this in the book. Um, if I wanted to get this crab and make a crab bow, I could. I just put this crab bow underneath it, and then when I use this die, I can get the benefits of whatever is here listed. So you can kind of make some goofy items. But if they have a matching keyword, you can also bump up the inventory. So for example, let's pretend like this crab leg had the word will underneath here, like the bow does. Well, if that's the case, when this has a one, I would bump this thing up to a four. So like your, oh, where is it? A four. So it's kind of like you're enhancing your inventory. So what I could have done, uh, there we go. What I could have and should have done when I grabbed this crab is to add this other crab here, because they both have the same keyword, we would be able to um, bump this up to a two. And that way it's only using one of my inventory slots, because remember, those are limited here. But I didn't do that, but I wanted to explain it. And there you go. So some things that we had talked about doing. Um, I think I'm okay on food for right now, so I don't really need to be hunting. Um, but... At some point, I'm going to need to make a fire so I can cook this food, free up some inventory space. Um, I probably could do a medical examination, which would bring some cards from the discard pile back into the action deck, kind of give us some more energy. The concern I have with that was that due to my terrible luck last time in drawing, I have one, two, three of the five curse cards already in the discard pile, and I don't really want them to come back into the action deck. So I kind of want to get a few more cards in the discard pile uh, before I do that, just to, you know, better my chances that I get good stuff into the draw pile. And so with that in mind, why don't we go do a little bit more exploration? So we wake up from our sleep, and again, we could now go search over here. That's a card that we now don't have. We There was something here before, but now it's kind of gone. We could go look over this way. Uh, I think we were looking at the tracks when we did that, if I remember right. Or we could just explore. Well, our goal here is to find the crystal shards. So let's go ahead and explore this and see what it says. This land is cursed. Oh, that's a great start. Uh, an increasingly unpleasant sensation has begun descending upon you. This creeping feeling of dread has constantly glanced over your shoulder. You stop dead in your tracks, as if paralyzed, convinced that something terrible is about to happen. Wonderful. Every, uh, each character involved in the following action may discard any number of cards with the word will or serenity. Oh, we just talked about We do have the bow, which has the word will. Um, and I'm not sure if we have others, but we'll go look. Okay, uh, from their hand and or inventory. For each card discarded this way, we gain a success uh, during the result step of the following action. So this action right here, do you see how it's like a thinking? Uh, I think this is like kind of like our mental stability, almost like we got to center our mind. And it has this red jagged outside. That means that that is required. We have to do that right now. 
we're going to end up drawing at least two cards. We need four successes. And it says your heartbeat slowly returns to normal if we can do this well. Or all of a sudden your resolve snaps and your spirit full tilt towards the coast. Oh, you sorry. I can read words. And you sprint towards the coast. Um, okay, well... That's scary. So we've got to find a way to calm ourselves down. We're getting crazy. Let's go take a look and see which will or serenity cards we have so that we can at least get a success. So it looks like we've got our bow, but I don't really want to get rid of our bow right now. It is definitely helping uh, us to hunt some food. I'd love to keep that. I've got food stamina, food stamina. Oh, I'd love to get rid of that poison card. So we've got stamina, stamina stealth. Uh, aggressiveness, fire making is stealth, skill and stamina. What was I looking for? I was looking for will or serenity, huh? All right, so none of these. Uh, we also do have things in our satchel, but I don't know that I really want to use those. Oh, not that one. Oh, that one doesn't have any word. Botany, that's a word. And a major relic is fet. What? Fetish. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Okay, so we got those cards. Oh, I got to straighten this up. I need to start playing this game with two hands. Almost, almost. Okay, something. I'll fix it later. I'm really not willing to give up my bow, but I would like to calm down. Why don't I just, I'm going to tell myself to just breathe. I'm going to sit down for a minute, take time. As I had mentioned before, I'm trying to get cards in the discard pile so that I could start using my medical devices better. So I'm just going to kind of sit down on this rock and take a deep breath. Let's draw hmm, to get four successes. I probably need to be drawing four successes. Oh man, five or six cards. That's a lot of cards. Uh, but probably worth it. Again, only worth it because of how many curse cards I've got in there. Let's go for, knowing my luck, let's go for six. So this is probably a little bit unprecedented. I'm going for, oh, maybe I should go for five. No, I'm nervous. Let's go for six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's the number I'm drawing. We're just going to turn these over and we're ignoring everything on there except for the stars. Okay, so no success there. Um, we'll try to keep these visible. Oh, here, let's raise these up just a little bit. Okay, so we got one success. Good, we've got two successes if we count these halves together like that. So we're at two, three, four, five. Jeez, we got a lot. Six. That's okay. We needed it. All right, so we only needed four. We got six. So what it says is your heartbeat slowly returns to normal. It is high time you continued along your way, and then we need to banish this. So we'll just go ahead and banish this card, and then we're going to turn it into a regular terrain card. I'm going to need card number four. Uh, banished is back here. Oh, I've got it back behind that in the very, very back. All right. So we banished that and then I need card number four. Where is it? Oh, I can do this. I can really do this. Oh yeah. It was behind this, oh, behind dividers. Okay. That's the only one. Uh, here we go. What does it say? Progression in this direction is hampered by many jets of boiling steam. It seems you have to take a steep path reach. Well, it seems you have to take a steep path to reach the ocean that you can see below. So flip that over. What do we got? We can see a bunch of steam. We got some exploration. Oh, we've got some more of that red seaweed. That's a vine for us and some more rock. Still no wood. That's unfortunate. <sighs> okay, so this is the only exploration card that we're going to be putting out, which means I need to grab a crystal one. I've been keeping those back here in front of the 10. Um, yep, just a regular one. And that goes right there. Before we continue on, I got to pick which one of these cards do I want to keep as an idea. I've already got five ideas, so I don't have to keep one of these, but I could replace if I wanted to. So let's think. So we have knowledge is power. Uh, you get more experience. So this is, we keep seeing this card. Okay. I think I've even given one up already. The first aid kit. Oh, this is probably what I need because I have a poisoned. Return an injured or poisoned state belonging to your character that is on uh, your terrain card. Um, yeah, I probably want that first aid kit. Oh, yeah. I probably do want that one. So hold on. I don't want this. Let's discard it. 
probably want that. <clears throat> a deadfall trap. Well, that could be okay, but I've got my bow. So I think I'm good without this, but man, look at that. That's a lot of that's a lot of stuff. Okay, cool. So we're gonna put that there. Whoa. I wonder. So this is like one automatic success plus. I wonder why it has that. Like, does it mean that each seven counts as two successes? I'm gonna have to double check that. That seems just a little confusing for me. All right, how about this Obolus? Oh man, look at all those successes. I like those a lot, but I really don't want to be poisoned anymore. Oh, there's a chance that these really great cards, we are on stone and we do have vines, mm, but they're only going to work once. Okay, well again, when I eat some food, there's a good chance that some of these cards will end up back in the, in the uh, action deck. Okay, uh, examine notes. What? Um, so this is like probably some kind of translating or transcribing action. Let me grab this. Where is that? Decipher, right there. Okay, so I could take a decipher action to examine some notes. Hmm. I don't, okay. Or make a blowpipe. I think I'm gonna stick with first aid for right now. So let's go ahead and add this into our um, brain. And I think I'm gonna get rid of my medical examination because of all of the crab meat that I can eat. I don't necessarily need this one, which just adds cards back into the discard pile. So I'm gonna keep this first aid. And the nice thing is, as a Yale graduate, when I attempt this first aid, um, I'm gonna have, it, it could take less time and give me a success. So I'm planning on doing this very shortly, if not right now. In fact, while we're at it, let's go ahead and see if we can heal ourselves. I'm gonna use this right here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and um, take care of this first aid thing. So it says that I can give myself some first aid. It's gonna take at least one card, and I need three successes in order to return this, um, this poison card, okay? Uh, but if I am successful, I get to hold on to this card, which is cool. And not only that, since I'm performing first aid and I'm a Yale graduate, then um, I can spend less time and or get an extra success. I need three successes. I don't necessarily need less time. Obviously, I'm going to have to draw something. Uh, I'm looking for two more successes. And I want to make sure I get this right so I don't lose that card. So let me... I'm going to draw... I'm going to draw three cards. Again, I know that that's a lot. That's because I'm planning on eating and getting these things back. So here we go. Uh, three cards. I'll pull those out. Just looking at the stars. And what do we got? Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. Okay. So we got our successes, which is great. I would have had that with one card. Boo. But that's okay. I'm going to be able to get rid of my poison card, which makes me happy. I could make a woven basket. Um... When this is in your inventory, the item that is part may contain up to three item cards. Whoa, what? Let's see that again. I'm just looking for, obviously, this, I'm just looking for what to put in my brain. When this is in your inventory, <clears throat> the item it is part of may contain up to three additional item cards. Oh, okay, so that's talking about, like, um, stacking. So it's like you can... When we we're talking about making our crab bow, we could stack a whole bunch. Right now, as a solo player, I can add four cards stacked together or combined. This is letting me add more. All right. Rudimentary Flint. This is pretty neat. Uh, put a fire figure into play on your train card. Discard this. We would have to, obviously, uh, build it, but it just happens. Okay, that's cool. Um, it's going to help us make a fire, but I do have my fire burning kit. I don't know. How about this? Forewarned is forearmed. You may discard this during the result step of an action you are involved in in order to apply the following effect. Get an extra success. Ooh, I like that. Hmm, which of these ideas do I take? Because I'm going to have to get rid of another idea. Um, oh, I don't know. Let's come back to that because technically we need to do our results first. So having done this first aid, um, so return an injured or poisoned state belonging to your character that is on, on so we are the character on the train card. We're going to return this. Uh, it is card number 108, which is why this 109 is here. These go right here, so I'm just going to kind of plop it in the middle-ish. 
sure, something like that. And then if I'm gonna get another idea, I've gotta get rid of something. Maybe I get rid of, oh, that was dumb. Well, no, that wasn't dumb. I still don't have the bandages yet. Bandages yet. I was thinking that I had them. Maybe I get rid of bandages. I don't know. Okay, so thematically, do I want a club? Probably I'm going to want a club at some point, huh? Yeah, and it's three. I've got three. Ugh, man, these choices are tough. Do you know what? I think I like these cards enough. I'm going to hold on to them. And, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to hold on to these. I've got to start making these things, which means i got to start eating my crab meat. And all of these will just go into the pile. Let's get serious about getting this fire underway. I, I know I haven't found any wood or foliage yet to make this go faster, but it's time to get her done. So, I'm trying to craft. That's what this action is. Whoa, there we go. I'm going to craft a fire making kit. And it will have a one-time use, but it's going to let me put a fire on my terrain. And there are some advantages to that, especially with my character, because my character can move more quickly towards an explorer or a fire. Okay, so this will take two cards. I need no successes. Um, and we're just building a fire, and I don't have anything to make my crafting take less time. So we'll just lose two cards. <clears throat> okay, and then think about if I want one of these as an idea. Um, before we do that, we do our results because then I'll have space to pull an idea down. So our fire making kit is successful. We put it over here. I could combine it with any of these, but I don't know that I necessarily need a fire making kit crab or whatever. So we're just going to put that there. And having made that, I've got a little more space in my brain. See this lucky star card. You may discard this during an action you are involved in in order to apply minus two and or that. You know, that could be helpful, actually, especially in these next couple of things. Pan pipes looks like it's for morale. I'm not really quite to the point where I'm looking for good morale right now. I need more, you know, survivability. And for my next action, why don't we go ahead and do this. I'm going to use this item. And it's going to take two time to put a fire figure into play uh, on your train card. And then we're going to discard this. So, hmm, do I really want to spend that time? Yeah, probably. Let's spend that time because I'm not looking for success. I was just wondering if I wanted to use my lucky star. So, yes, let's go ahead and build a fire um, by exhausting or using that one die. That's going to take two time. Uh, obviously we don't need successes, but if I did need them, I have three. So that's neat. Uh, maximizing the odds or remembering. All right, we'll take a look at that in just a second. But for now, we're going to put our fire token on our terrain, and then we'll discard this. Well, let's do this first. And we'll discard this. I don't know if I want either of these. Okay, so remember... Choose one blue card in the discard pile and add it to your hand. Okay. Wow, there is a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, but I'd have to replace something with it. Right now I like the things that I've got. Maximizing the odds. A brain thing. Discard this. One involved character may then choose up to two blue cards from their hand and put them back on top of the action deck in any order. Oh, man. Ooh, that would be awesome if I had the, the three. If I had that one in my hand. Blah. Oh well, that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this here. I don't, yeah, I don't see the need to grab any of those. The successful, or the successes um, available aren't, <laughs> aren't great. So yeah, we're okay. All right, we're gonna put that there. Now I think it's time to eat some lunch. So let's go ahead and eat. We've been working hard and healing and resting and kind of having a lazy day. So now it's time for some food. So it says, Randomly take three cards, six if you have the fire resource, which we do because we just put the fire down, from the discard pile and shuffle them back into the action deck, and then we're going to return this. So this is card number one. We'll be returning that, but um, while we're at it, and you know, technically you really should just do this one at a time, uh, but we're just going to go ahead and eat both of these, so I'm going to be returning 12 cards back into the action deck, and let's return these really fast. Let's see here. Card number one, put these 
in there like that. And now we're gonna take this. This has to happen randomly, so we're just, oh, yeah, let's leave this one out. We're gonna randomly shuffle these. And after we shuffle them, I need to pick out 12 cards, and then we're gonna shuffle them into the action deck, and we have a little more energy than we had before. And also, I hope our odds are better than they were before with all of those dang curse cards. Okay, one, two, well, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and then my understanding is we'll just take the discard pile and put it face back, face up, back here. So we just know we didn't get our fire making kit. We probably could look through this. Before I do, I'll double check that. Um, and then we need to shuffle this entire thing here. And I do still have that weird printed card in there. Uh, I'm just going to have to get over it. Oh, why did some of these turn? I don't want them turning. I guess that's the pro and con of having square cards, right? Square cards look cool, but if they turn, you won't even know. All right, we'll call that good. We are shuffled. There, okay, we got some more energy. Okay, guys, I just barely did a little checking, and to my tiny detriment, since the discard pile is face up, which it would be face down if our action pile was gone. I actually could have looked at the 12 cards going into the action deck and then shuffled them. I could have seen what we were putting back in. I just didn't and it's too late now, but we, we can always look at them if they're face up. So just taking a look, oh man, we got lucky. I think, was there one of these cards, one of the cursed cards that ended up back in there? I'm not sure, but let's see, is the three star one in there? Oh, okay, no, the three star ended up back in there too. Cool. Okay, well, I can keep that in mind in the future, and for now, we continue on. So before uh, picking my next action, well, I probably should actually construct some of these things. The issue I'm having is that we don't have the resources necessarily available. Oh, we do have vines, huh? Um, I was thinking about making a bow club combining these items, but the keywords aren't the same. This one's aggressiveness, this one's will, so I don't necessarily want to combine them, but I... It could, I, if they did have those same keywords, that would have been awesome. So we could have a club bow that had six uses in it. I would have loved that. But for now, how about just to keep our brain a little bit emptier? What if we work on crafting some bandages? And that way we've got bandages available and we have an extra slot over here. So uh, bandages, to craft that, it's going to take three time units. We don't need any successes and we can subtract time units if we do have the vines resource. Now, remember, there isn't a vines resource on the tile where we are now. If there was, it would be showing down here in the bottom corner, but there is some red seaweed, and we have the knowledge to turn red seaweed into a vines resource. That's what this card tells us here. So we see that on the card, we can use that as a vine, which means in order to construct these bandages, it's just gonna take two time units, and we'll be able to successfully do that because we don't need any successes here. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, move the two cards over. So one, two, okay, camouflage outfit. <laughs> I love that picture. Oh, uh, that's funny. Okay, um, or a walking stick. I'm a pretty good walker these days. I don't know that I necessarily need a walking stick, even though it does help with fighting a little bit. Uh, oh, and it does have the will word, which means we could make a walking stick bow Oh, that is actually not a terrible idea. Or a camouflage outfit, which will help us with hunting, go a lot faster, or help us with disguise, be more successful. Hmm, I like both of those. Uh, okay, well, hmm, since I know we're going to be fighting and hunt, well, this doesn't help with hunting, it just helps with fighting, but it could increase stuff. Let's go ahead and choose the walking stick. But I do love that camouflage outfit a lot, actually. Hmm, yeah, we're going to stick with the walking stick because I can combine that with the bow. And just to be clear that you guys know that I'm clear, you can combine any items when you craft them. You can combine any of them when you make the crafting happen. But the way that you boost the number, which is the added benefit, is by having matching words. So will and will. That's kind of why I want to combine the walking stick with the bow.
In fact, why don't we just go ahead and do that now? So it's, oh, we just don't have any wood. Do we we got to find some wood on this place. Uh, but we'll go ahead and craft that. We don't have any wood. Um, and we don't have any cards that help me with crafting. But uh, it's just going to take two times. Uh, do you know what? I'm holding off. Here's why I'm holding off. This is going to add four. The maximum that this could go is six. So you can't go up higher than your dice, your die will allow you. So let's hold off on this. I've got the idea. Let's go see if we can find some wood. It's silly to waste so much time making a stick when hopefully we could just find one. So from here, again, if I needed some more crab, I know where I can look. I can look over here. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and take the walking action. To walk out of this place is going to take two. If by chance there had been an explorer or a fire where I'm headed, um, I could subtract one, but there's not. So instead, we'll just go for two. And we're, we don't need any successes, which is just taking up time. Um, oh, a raft. I feel like a raft could be an important thing in, in a, on an island. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so that would be neat. Um, knowledge is power. We keep seeing this knowledge is power, so I I don't want that. I'm, I'm sure it's helpful, but I'm trying to get other things. A raft. What would I get rid of, though, if I kept this raft? Um, let, let's contemplate. I guess I could get rid of so many things. Oh, this would work well. Oh, man. Hmm. Maybe... I don't know. I just want to keep... I feel like I need to... Oh, man. Should have made that walking stick or something. Do you know what? Let's get rid of... It's so tough. Ah, and sorry, I'm, I'm making annoying noises. But what I'm loving about this game is really how tough these choices feel and not knowing, not knowing exactly what we need and what we don't need. Hmm, do you know what? I'm going to hold on to this lucky star. I'm going to put the raft in the discard pile. And the reason why I feel like I could get away with this is because I know there are cards like Remember and stuff like that in there, which could let me fish that back out if I need it. At this point, I don't know that I do need it. So having successfully walked, we're just going to come on over here to this tile. The reason why I'm not going up is because I've already seen that terrain tile. i got to see more. This is looking like a a little tiny island, not the big one that I thought it was going to be. Okay, so from here, uh, we could spot or observe, or we could explore this way. Or I could just see what's up here. Let's spot and observe first, because that doesn't require anything. So we're going to look at uh, 35. So 35, where are you? Oh, there's a 35. Okay. So it says, and I just noticed as I was pulling that out, there are other 35s here. Okay. Uh, you find a moss carpeted ho uh, hovel. I don't know what that is. Where you can get some rest and comfort away from the elements. Neat. All right, let's put this down. So taking a quick look, this arrow is pointing at where we need to lay it with respect to that action. So this is going to go right down here. And it says, immediately after this is revealed, one involved character may choose one card with the keyword stamina in the discard pile and add it to their hand or shuffle it back into the action deck. Okay, let's do that. Uh, my hands are full, or my head is, and so let's um, plan on adding it to the action deck. And then, if I take a rest or a medicine action, then I have this result um, if I do that from this card right here. Very cool. Okay. So let's just take a quick peek through these cards. Do I have stamina? Oh, there's the knowledge is power one. Uh, serenity, stamina, learning by doing, minus three for your time. Uh, let's see, you may discard this during the cost step of an action you are involved in in order to apply this effect. I like that. I like that a lot. More, oh, this knowledge is power is aggressiveness. Interesting. I thought they would all kind of be identical. All right, do you know what? We're going to put learning by doing back into the action deck. So let's just go ahead and put it down here in the middle. And anytime we add cards, we shuffle, is my understanding. There we go. Something like that. 
And now I need to decide, do I want to go look at what's over here, or do I head for the crystal stuff? I'm thinking, let's check this out first, because, again, that's the goal of what we're doing. We're surviving and trying to find these crystal shards. All right, we got a crystal fragment. Um, what is it? A fist-sized crystal solidly lodged in the rock. We came across this the other time. So uh, we are going to need three successes for digging out, um, or zero successes if one person's tired. Okay, so I need to not get tired. I've got to find a way to dig stuff out. I feel like I haven't seen any digging stuff that I can remember. Oh, let's just take a quick peek through the discard pile, see if I've missed something stupid. And in the meantime, this is just going to sit there until I can dig it out. Let's see, have I been ignoring? I really should have been keeping an eye out on that, huh? So I'm trying to see if there is something that's going to help me with digging. No, I haven't seen anything help me with digging. And the reason why that's so important is that uh, the way that that card is laid out, you can't flip over any of these cards. You have to get successes just from being equipped to dig. So it seems like that's kind of my goal right now. i got to find a way to dig myself out of here. This might mean, so I can't come up this way. If I remember right, on this terrain tile, we could like skip over some rocks to get to something else over here. Maybe it's another little mini island? Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's explore this though. So that's going to take one card flip over and we'll be successful at it. So flip it over. A torch. Hmm, with four uses. If you have a fire. Oh yeah, I do want this. I'm successful. I'm just trying to decide if I want this in my hand. I probably do. This seems like it will be very helpful as we search and heal and with fire building. Hmm. Let's look. Um. Darn it. Probably, I really do want to keep it, but what do I get rid of? Maybe Lucky Star? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I gotta start constructing stuff again. Okay. Yeah. Maybe this tile, I probably should construct the club, right? Yeah, sorry, I lost my lucky star. And technically, I should have revealed this before choosing what to keep in my head. So if that's affected at all, I'll keep that in mind. But for now, I need card number eight. Let's see here, card number eight. Just one of them. What do we found? You gaze upon the wild, endless ocean. The surface rough and, and choppy and salty spray from the waves is enough to tell you that the water is freezing. All right, so let me flip this up. Let's go look at it over there. So this is gonna attach right here and we can no longer take the observe action. Okay, what does it say? A swimming away will certainly not be easy. On the other hand, if you stay here more than a few days, you will likely die. Oh, this is where that uh, raft could come in handy, if I remember correctly. And oh, what does the stairs thing mean? It means, like, I think that means that everybody has to participate in the action. Um, stairs. This action may not be taken unless all characters are involved. Yes. So if we're going to be swimming away, then everybody has to be involved. And it looks like uh, this is, like, 23 plus uh, a blue flag number. Here's what that means. Uh, this is coming, it's all clicking together. If we were to take that action, do you guys remember, I didn't point it out, but did you see on this raft, there was this action plus five. And so this has like this blue flag that says action plus five here, okay? So we've got that raft. And the way that I'm interpreting this is that if you do this action without a raft, you would look at card 23. If you do this action with the raft, you would do 23 plus five, so you would go look at card 28 instead. So there's that over there. Um, that's all nice and scary and fun. Let's head back up this way probably. But before doing that, let's go ahead and construct this club um, while we're on a place with rocks and with the red seaweed. Um, it's on that tile if you didn't see it. So this is gonna take three time, except we've got the vine resource, we've got the uh, stone resource. So it's just gonna take one time unit, and now we have this. I am choosing not to combine it with other items because um, 
I don't see the point. <laughs> I mean, I guess there kind of is a point, but I don't want to waste... I don't want to... I want to combine resources that should be combined as, as far as I'm thinking right now. And that takes one time. So learning by doing. You may discard this. Oh, this is what we just added recently, wasn't it? You may discard this during the cost setup of an action you are involved in in order to apply the following effect. Uh, yeah, let's... Um, what's going to take a bunch of time? I don't know. Let's hold on to that for a second. Is there something that will take this? You may discard this during the cost step of an action. That could go well with the torch. But in order to build the torch, I probably want to be on the fire spot. Hmm, Vigilance. I don't have a Vigilance card either. But, hmm, okay. Uh, here's my idea. I need to get over here so that I can eventually get up here and walk across and see what was this way. Um, walking takes two, but I'm moving towards a fire, which for my guy is a minus one on how long it takes. He, he walks faster when he's walking towards something. And so that's just going to take one. I hope it's not something... Okay, the pan pipes. I don't really necessarily care about the pan pipes, uh, but I was successful walking. And now that I'm here, let me go ahead and make a torch uh, while this fire is here. So my understanding, I could be wrong, this fire is going to stay here until we go to sleep. Or, if I build a fire somewhere else, you can only have as many fire um, markers on a tile as you have characters playing. So, if I chance I make a fire tile up here, then I would just move this fire up here. This one goes out, and that one starts up. So, that's kind of how these work. But now, while I'm over here, and there is seaweed, which for me is a vine, then I'm going to take this torch, and it's, this is four. I still haven't found wood, necessarily. It's not abundant. So this is four. I gotta search for it. And then minus one, minus two. So this is really just gonna take me one time unit. And I don't really wanna combine it with anything. And I gotta see what that means. It looks like if you search add nine, or if there's, there's gotta be some moment where if I add nine to a number because I have a torch. It'll probably make sense thematically. I'm gonna add this torch in. I'm carrying as much stuff as I can. I've got a bow and a club and bandages and all that stuff. But that just took me one of these. Oh, this is the paper one. At least it's out so I can stop talking about it. It's our unsuccessful curse, but that's okay. I didn't need any stars anyway. So now I have a torch. And if I need to build a fire or search for something or whatever, then I've got these things here. So from here, again, I know I can come back here for food if I need it. Uh, do I need some food now? It's getting to the point where I might want to look, but let's come up here. Ooh, okay, so this is a spiky conch. Well, okay, I wasn't expecting that. You have picked up a large shell you can blow into. We can make music, or we could use it to fight uh, because it's so spiky. And, um, all right, so we have this item, but my inventory is full. So I probably am just going to discard this. I don't necessarily want to hold on to it. So I'm just going to discard this card, not add it to my inventory, and I need to replace it with card number 9 right there. So that just goes into the past. Now card number 9, we've seen it before. If there were multiple number 9s, it might be slightly different, but there is only the one 9. Just to remember, the ground is totally barren here. In fact, the only vegetation among your surroundings are clumps of red seaweed clinging to rocks. Plumes of yellowish smoke spur from the ground, and we have the dead seagull. So we'll add this uh, back down there, like that, and I got a shovel. All right, so now probably want to walk over this way. If I remember correctly, there was stuff over this way. Um, yeah, so let's take a move action. I'm not moving towards anything, so this is kind of treacherous terrain. It takes a while. It's going to take two time cards. So we got these two, um, all right, so woven cord, hmm, okay, uh, oh, I am on stone, I could make this, I don't have any places on my inventory for it, put a fire figure into play on your train card and then discard this card, okay, so that, uh, just helps you start fires, okay, or learning by doing, which I do like, 
let me hold on to uh well, yeah might as well hold on to it we're about to go venture somewhere crazy and given how crappily i walked over the what was it was it urchins i think there was a bunch of urchins or something since i sucked at that i'm gonna probably need <laughs> some better success here and i did forget to grab um a card here and ooh, question is i'm gonna have to come back to the original uh curse card here which says um Sorry, each player places their figure onto it. When you put a terrain card and its attached exploration cards, you must choose one of these exploration cards to be replaced by that, uh, by a crystal one. Uh, if you are to take the that and none are available, then the mission's over. So what I'm saying is, this is a crystal fragment right here. I'm not sure if this one should be, but the way I read that card, since we're placing a card here, I think that does need to be a crystal. I don't have that many left. I gotta be smarter. We gotta dig. Okay, so this is going right here. And then for uh, my next action, I don't think that we needed to look at that. I don't remember seeing anything useful. Um, we've already taken care of the seaweed thing, so I don't need to do that. Yep, yeah, looks like we're just going to explore this way. A crystal fragment. Ooh, that's good. You hear a humming sound travel through the air and prick up your ears in an attempt to identify the source. During the result step of the following action... For each skull card you reveal, the number of required successes increases by two. Okay, so we need to listen carefully. We need four successes. You follow the noise up to a rocky crevice where you discover a small crystal fragment, or you're tired and you seem... Oh, okay, so how many am I going to need to do to do four successes? Crap, my learning by doing isn't really going to help me right here, is it? And I don't have anything to help me listen. <sighs> We're just going to have to... Yeah. Okay. We're going to listen. And I'm going to take whatever time that I need. Especially considering for each curse card that I draw, it's going to add two to my successes that I need. I need four. In order to get four... Just looking at the chart off camera, I'm probably going to need to draw six cards. And I know that sucks, but remember, the whole point of what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this crystal. That's the point of this scenario. So let's go ahead and draw six, and if I need to, I can go back down to the tile below it and eat some food before I go to bed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, this is a lot of cards. That pile is getting low. All right, I need four successes, and any curses are going to mean I add to my success needs. All right, no curses. Thank goodness. And what have I got? I've got one, two, three, four. And also, I would have been able to combine those stars for a fifth if I needed it. Or, uh, what, these ones. Okay, cool. Either way, I've got it. Uh, let's go resolve it before I choose what I want to hold on to. So this gets added to my satchel, and then uh, we'll add a card here. Okay, I've got one of the fragments. Yay, me. And then card 15. Again, I think that was just like the sharp rocks that I have to walk over to get to somewhere else. 15. And yeah, the terrain is split in two by a small bay. Right. Okay, so if I wanted to walk over there, I've got a balance. But I could use my learning by doing thing. That would help out a lot. So this is going to go right here. Okay, any of these that look super important? Let's take a look. Maybe a shovel? Uh, Valiant heart shall not fail. You may discard this during the result step of an action in order to do this and take card 101. Okay. Or we've got some rope, which will help with climbing, fire, or whatever. Uh, and then if there was... Oh, okay, I see, I see. So if we had a rope icon on a different flag, we could add 10 to that number. It could help with climbing. I haven't seen anything worth climbing yet. So I'm going to say no to the rope. Knowledge is power. Uh, one of these days I'm going to regret discarding these all the time. Forewarned is forearmed. Only one success. Let me go ahead and put that down here. We could do some war paint, which would help us <laughs> um, camouflage or disguise ourselves, fight and target or hunt. Okay. A deadfall trap. We've already talked about that. Okay. Do I want this valiant heart shall not fail? I'm not sure that I wanted enough to get rid of the other things that I've got. Mm. 
But it is too successful. You want? Know Maybe I do want that. I'm gonna replace one of my learning by doings with this. We're running low. It might be time to go eat. And even though I'm getting tired and hungry, I want to use my learning by doing to get this taken care of, I think. I need one success, right? Yeah, one success. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to plan on doing this. I'm going to try to walk across here, have good balance, and with my learning by doing, I need one success. But I'm going to use this to make it so that I don't have to use all three. I'm still going to have to flip over one at least to get a success. I'm going to, mm -hmm. I'm going to cross my fingers that I could do this. I just can't go any slower. Yeah, let's do that. So you can discard this to subtract three from your time cost. It's risky, but this is getting low. I'm going to use just one. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. All right, so I've got that. Ooh, this helps with hunting. That's kind of interesting. Uh, it's like, I'm going to keep it, but this is the thing I'm less interested in. So let's put this in our brain. We'll put that there. And you can measure the results step of your... I want to do this sooner rather than later. Okay, yeah. Because I there's no reason for me to hold on to that, right? Yeah. So we successfully balanced our way over there, and it says put 17 or a 9 card, depending on which way we're going. We're looking for card 17. Um, 17, there's a yellow. Oh, but there's also a green. Okay, here we go. What does it say? A 30-foot long submarine is hanging from two cranes, keeping it, what? Above the surface of the water. There is no soul in sight. What? Why is there a submarine? Well, that's weird. Okay. Um, okay. That's kind of something else. Um, but I am confused. Is that really 17? That is 17. There's 17 here. Here's why I'm confused. This has a 15 going the other direction. Oh, there's 15 right there. Wait a second. Did I do this right? Hold on. Yeah, I did do this right. 15. It's just confusing to me that there's a 9 on that side. What was the 9? I don't remember what the 9 was. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sorry. This gets... I kind of want these numbers to match pointing to each other. I think I'm standing on card 9. Yeah, I am on card 9. Okay, okay. I'm losing my mind. Sorry, that was really dumb embarrassing. But uh, I do put my character onto this over here. What is that? Clapping? Oh, that's praying. Oh, there's little graves there. Oh, this was a whole thing with a discard holder. So if you saw my setup video and probably the beginning, I think I did in the beginning of the first video, there's this discard holder, but I didn't think that it was reading very well on camera. And on this discard pile, if I took this prey action, like you could choose which side to use. Um, and yes, I still have not adjusted the sides. Somebody told me that I have the sides going the wrong way, and I just don't understand how that matters. So I'm trying to ignore it, even though I, whatever. But if I take the prey action, the active play, then all this is making sense. Okay, so anyway, I could have chosen either side, right? And the way that I had just randomly chosen it, uh, if I was taking dig or prey, the active player may discard a card with the keyword specter that they have just revealed without applying any relative or related effects. In that case, they must immediately take card 666. Okay, so when a grave can be seen on your trade card, you may apply the following actions only once. Well, I don't think that I have anything that says Spectre that I can remember. So that's good. And I don't... Mm, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Table turning poltergeist. What would the other side have been? Let me turn this over. Okay, a thought for those who died. So I could have gone the <laughs> poltergeist route or this route here. Either way, it looks scary. Each evolved character may discard any number of cards with the keyword will from their hand and their and or inventory. Uh, for each card discarded this way, randomly take two cards from the discard pile um, and shuffle them and put them back in the deck. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So just different things you could do with graves. Um, I'm going to kind of ignore the graves and just continue on. I'm still looking for a shovel, right? So from here, I... Well, 
I guess I could go still pray over those graves and see what happens. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, or I could look up here, or I could go look at the submarine. I'm really hoping there's a shovel over there, honestly. Okay, let's go observe, because it's not going to take any time. So I want card 22. So just taking a peek through here, card 22. Yes, is this one? I think there's only, yeah, there's just the one. Okay. Uh, this crane supports the submarine, submarine above the water by chains attached to either end. Each chain runs through a pulley located at the top of a crane. Lowering and submerging the submarine obviously requires great precision and skill. We could do a strength check, and my Yale card would help with this. The chains do not break. The submarine is back in the water. Return the terrain card you are standing on and replace it with card 24 to discard this. What? What is happening? Um, either way... Oh, this goes right there. Okay, uh, I think I am going to do this because, having gone to Yale, I am strong. I still have to turn over a card, but I have an automatic success. Um, let me show you what I mean. So I'm doing a strength action, right? And a strength action, I'm going to get minus one time, but that time is locked. I can't change it. And or one success. So I've got a success from that, but I do need to flip one of these cards up. God, I'm getting nervous. Yeah, okay. Hopefully this stuff doesn't take too long. Uh, okay, we got a success here. So two successes. We got some examine notes. Okay, so in my brain, thematically, I'm starting to remember these notes. Or I, I've, got a, I've got a book of notes. I've got to kind of spend some time reading. I'm going to not hold on to that uh, for now. Or should I? I don't really want this blowpipe necessarily. Yeah, let's just hold on to this, and I'll replace it with the blowpipe. So I was successful, so now I am going to replace this terrain card. I'm going to discard this and replace this card with card 24. All right, 24, 24, 23, 24. Okay. The submarine is in the water. Now set off as quickly as you can. You never know what could happen. What? But I got to find my crystals. Hmm. I don't know about this. I mean, I'm glad the submarine's in there. I gotta get my crystals first. So, the problem is, when I leave this, I have to go, I have to go get some food. So I gotta come back here. But when I leave this, I don't think I can come back to this card as normal. We're gonna have to do this again if by chance I want the submarine. I don't necessarily want the submarine, I've just gotta keep exploring. Which means I gotta get a shovel. Well, where else do I explore? I guess I just come this way. Jeez, I don't know. This choice is kind of tough. Um, okay, well, let's do this. I'm going to observe what is up here. So that gets me... Well, it doesn't get me anything. Okay, I don't need a success anyway. I'm just spending time. Some more rudimentary flint, which... Hmm... Uh, Maybe I just move the fire up here, but that doesn't solve my food issue. Okay, I don't need to decide right now. I just need card 164. That's over here. 160. Oh, two hands. 150, 62, 63, 64. Okay. You gaze upon the wild, endless ocean, the surface rough and choppy and spray. And tell, okay, so this is kind of like the other card that we were looking at. Okay, swimming away will... I guess I'll read the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> the waves is enough to tell you that the water is freezing. Swimming away will certainly not be easy. On the other hand, if you stay here for more than a few days, you will likely die. The strong current carries you away to the north. Okay, so this is another one of those raft issues. All right. That's submarine. All uh, right. Okay. Do you know what I've decided? I've decided. <laughs> what I've decided is I've got to make my way back over here, do a little bit of hunting uh, while that fire is good, and then, and then I'm going to end it, and we're going to have to go into a part three. 
Hmm. Yes. I didn't find a shovel. This is still going to be haunting me, isn't it? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so we're going to make our way over this way, which means i got to do that balancing thing again, only less successful. That's going to take a bunch of time. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to hold on to this. I was thinking about holding on to this if I was going to make camp by that submarine. But my real concern right now is food, because this deck is getting low, and it's about to get even lower. One, two, three. Okay. So we are successful walking. Oh, a shovel, a shovel, a shovel. Yes. Okay. These are going here. Uh, yes, I want this. I need this. Wait, why didn't I do... Dang it. Um, okay. So um, I'm going to get rid of those notes. I should have uh, got to use these valiant hearts. Not. I keep forgetting that. All right. Get rid of this. That's going to let me come on over this way. One. So we just hop over to here. And then from this space, I need to walk, which is going to take one to come down here. But because of my special ability, when I take the walk action, I can subtract one time unit so I can get over down here to the fire. But you know what? Really quickly, before I actually make that move, sorry, super lame. But as I'm looking at the shovel, I need the stone from that card. So I'm going to craft this, and thankfully it's stamina, so I'm going to be adding it to my bandages. I'm going to have a shovel bandage. So this is to craft this. Well would normally take me three, but I am on a place with stone, so it's only going to take me one time unit. It does say the word stamina, so I'm going to be able to add four to this stamina. I think I'm doing this right. So I'm going to combine these, and in a solo game, you can, for your four items, you can have up to four cards combined together. So I'm going to be combining these together like this, and that's going to help me with the shovel, which will take less time uh, it still doesn't give me my perfect success, does it? Um, it tells me that sevens are successes, but I can't draw anything. <sighs> Is that shovel even helping me? It has to be, right? Well, let's, let's re-examine the crystal issue. So the issue with the crystal is that I can't do any digging. Like, oh, I can't spend any time. I need three successes though, and this shovel doesn't necessarily get me any successes. I guess, at the very least, let's just get this made. Yeah, I still won't be able to uncover that crystal, I think. Um, I mean, I could get closer if I use this here. So for example, you may discard this during the result of an action in order to apply two stars. I need three. Do I have any way to get three? Not with a shovel action. Okay. That's worth holding on to this card for, though. All right. Hmm. Okay. Yes. So I, I'm, I'm going in the right way, but I do need to spend my one-time unit thing. So here we go. What is this? Uh, a remember, choose a card in the discard pile, add it to your hand, and then discard this. Uh, might as well hold on to it. I've only got four cards right now. And I wonder, before I move off of that, is there a card I could use from the discard pile that will help me get me a success? Oh, there might be, actually. So, like, if I take this action... Let's just go double-check the discard pile. Um, yeah, so you can look at these at any time. I'm just looking for opportunities to get one more success before I move off of this tile because if I can get that one success for digging, then, okay, so that's minus time, then I'll be able to get that one crystal shard up and out. That doesn't help. You may discard this during a result. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think that's the one that I want. All right, so I'm going to take the remember action so that I can get this. I'm doing this a little backwards. So I'm adding this down here and discarding this. And now I'm going to go take the shovel action to get that crystal shard out. So I can't draw anything, but I do have three successes if I discard those other cards. 
So here's my three successes. Okay, okay, yes. All right, so discard these, and then I need to remember to uh, take card 101. Where are you? Here's one. Uh, you are feeling increasingly drowsy and struggling to stay awake. You cannot wait to find a safe place, safe, comfortable place to rest. Oh, no, I don't want to be tired. <sighs> That's poops. Um, hmm, you might have to help me. I think, I think, I mean, I am tired now, obviously, but I think that I managed, to, I should have resolved the action first. So just like, again, I think I did things kind of maybe out of sequence, probably, maybe. Uh, let's see, the cost, so we spend the cost, okay, we draw the cards, we check the results, and then the active player may choose one card from those that were revealed during, oh yeah, yeah, um, so my question is, did I get tired from the crystal, or did I get tired before the crystal? I think, and I'm not just saying this, I think that we got two before. I don't think we got tired. And the reason why it matters is if at least one character is tired, then it takes six. But I think we got this instead. So we managed to pry the rock from the uh, thing and ended up in our journal. But man, we got real tired from it. We're going to go ahead and add this crystal fragment into our satchel over there. Lots of satchel-y things. But we got tired as a result. And obviously tired is going to make things bad, but we could rest in that little grommet thingy or whatever it was called, this one down here. But for now, we need card 10. So card 10. Uh, thick columns of yellowish smoke rise up from cracks in the volcanic rock to the east. The peaks of, rock, of a rocky cliff look down, mocking the ocean below. Okay, let's add this in. And, gosh, I'm not sure that I really want to go explore that stuff. I do need to put a crystal up here. Let's see. Now, why don't I go ahead and walk down here. Let's see if I can find some food. I can't remember. I feel like the food was in here. Was it in here? I can't remember. It was either here or here. Like the 16 or... Let's... Try this one because it's free. So card 16 was, oh, there's only this yellow one left. Okay, what did that one say? You insert your arm into the hole again but find nothing worthwhile. Uh, you notice that the ground is loose and crumbling. You could easily dig it out and hide in there. And then when we're hunting, we get a success. That's right. So that must have meant maybe it was the 12. We follow the tracks. Okay, let's look at 12. And 12, there's a yellow one. Oh, but there's a green one. Yep, just this green one here. Uh, from the few tracks that you spot on the ground, it seems like there's a small animal here recently. Yes, okay. So we have to draw two. We're looking for two or more successes. And we're gonna get crab depending on how much we get here. Um, oh man, but this is going to, this is gonna kind of mess up our eating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's, one step at a time, right? Okay, so there's that. Um, so we can hide and wait in silence. We would draw two exactly. We need two or more successes. The more successes, the more food I get. I would love to get a lot of food, obviously. Um, but as we're hunting, so now we have a hunt option. This is playing into that. But also I can use my bow uh, for hunting, which we can't take off two from the time, but we can add a star success and turn our sevens into successes. So let's go ahead and take the hunt action. We're gonna have to draw two cards exactly, and we're really hoping for a bunch of success. We've got one from this, we've got one from the bow, and any sevens we get will also be a success. But I do need to tick this down to a two. So at the very least, I'm going to find one crab. Let's see if we can get some more. Um, do we have to draw two cards. What have we got? <sighs> of course, our curse. And, oh, wow, three. That's great. Uh, three stars. So all together, that was five stars, which is good. Uh, we get two card 30s. Let's see. Where was card 30? Uh, 
Where are you? Right there. We get two of them. Oh, that was 31. Okay, we get two of these. And what do we got? Oh, okay. So we've got a stone-eating crab, and we've got a strange uh, cephalopod. I thought this was going to be different than this is turning out to be. They are 30s, right? Yeah, they are. Okay, so we grab these. Let's go one at a time. A stone-eating crab. Uh, you spot a kind of large gray and red crab with short, flat pinchers that do not really look like a threat. Okay, that was what we had before. We'll take two crab legs for that. Uh, here, let's do that really quickly. Put this down. And let's just go in the uh, the past. For some reason, I remember that the card number 30 was like the crab legs, but apparently not. So we get two card ones. I think those were the legs, right? One, two... And we get to keep these. Um, I'm going to be using these soon, but my inventory can only hold four. So I have to decide which of these things to get rid of. Um, dang it. Which one do I get rid of? Don't get rid of my shovel bandages. Uh, do I get rid of my torch? Or my club or my bow? Hmm. Well, dang, that's a tough choice. I'm going to get rid of the club, I guess, which makes me sad, but the guy's got to eat. So I believe I can just combine these and together they're going to make a two. Where is it? Come on, two. Oh my gosh, that's four. What is wrong with me? One. Wait, this die doesn't have a two. <gasps> I'm not totally stupid. Hold on. This does not have a two. That's hilarious. That's like chipped off? Yeah, that spot shouldn't be there. Um, hold on. Okay, I've got my Gloomhaven pen right here. We'll color this in for now. That's funny. Did anybody else have an issue like that? That's really funny. Okay, here we go. There's our two. Something like that. And then we're going to resolve this thing here. Oh, we're locked in. we got to fight. Ooh, I'm going to miss my club. That club would have been very helpful. Okay, a three-foot-long creature with tentacles and stumpy legs tries to bite you. Gosh, why did I get rid of my club? That was really stupid. Uh, oh, well. Okay, so we're going to draw one. We're locked in at one, and we need two successes. Thankfully, we've got one success because we're fighting if I use my bow. Oh, man, this was dumb. <sighs> hmm. I'm wondering if I want to switch. Can I legally switch these? Not use my bow. Because I saw this card. I should have read it before. And with my bow taking another hit, it's not only weaker. Do you know what? I am going to do this. Don't hate. Don't judge. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to discard the bow. And use the club for this fighting. And again, I just should have looked at this more closely. I was all just distracted. All right, I've done it. You can you can hate me if you want to. But I need two successes. I'm going to flip over one card. We kill the little critter. Take card number two. So I'm going to use the club. We will have our successes because we're fighting. Okay, so that's good. But we still need to flip a card over. Oh, yeah. And I was going to hold on to this as an idea. I'm pretty sure I can because that was the end of that action, right? Yeah. So I'm going to grab this really quickly. You can tell my character's tired because I'm making really dumb mistakes. <laughs> tired. And what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I needed to go flip over a card. So this one, a splint. Okay. Uh, might as well hold on to it because I have space in my brain. And I was successful, so I get to discard this, and I kill the critter, I get card two. Let's see here, card two. Hopefully it'll get me even more energy. Oh, lots of ones. Okay, here's card two. And we got fish and a mollusk. And it's stamina, cool. Let's just add this to the rest of the stuff. Uh, randomly take four cards, five if you have. Fire. Okay, yeah, let's add this in. And hopefully I'm doing this right. If not, just, you know, help me out. Let me know. Uh, so these, I guess technically I should be setting it out like this. And this is just kind of our food stash. 
we can just keep combining because they're all the same keyword. And for this, um, I guess what I'm saying is if I want to eat some of this food, I just remove the card one at a time probably. And this card says randomly take four cards, five if you have the fire, from the discard pile, shuffle it back in. So how about this? Before, before turning into rest, why don't we just go ahead and eat all of this food? It'll make me so sad that I got rid of my bow for that, but you know, maybe I'll get the opportunity to get a bow back. I am on a fire tile, so I'm going to get six. And again, these don't take any time. It's just uh, no success is needed. So this is going to be six, 12, uh, 17. We're going to get 17 cards back. So that's going to bring this down to a zero. But we broke our bow getting our food, but that's okay. We needed the food anyway. So we are just going to go ahead and discard these. They're green, so they go into the past. And we're going to get 17 cards back. So I need to take these, flip them upside down. I hope I don't get that one annoying curse card back, if nothing else, just so I don't have to look at it anymore. Shuffle as best as I can. And we're going to count out 17 cards. Oh, what? this one shouldn't have been in here. Sorry. This should have been in the past. My bad. Okay. All right, 17 cards. And we could see them before we put them back in. Oh, that was good timing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's take a quick peek. Ooh, I like seeing that at the top, and I like seeing this down here so I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> so I know some curse cards got back in here. What else? Okay, so curse. Um, I kind of want my bow back in here, you know? No, bullet. Okay, fire making kit. No bow. Boo, it's still in there. All right, and then we're going to take these, and these all get shuffled up together. I have a little more energy to make it through. I feel like I've got to be close to getting through this Crystal Song story. Maybe one more play. Maybe two. We'll see. Oh, these get all turned. What is wrong with me? It is really tricky to shuffle square cards for some reason. For me. Probably not for you, but for me. <laughs> As I was saying. Whatever. Okay. There we go. Shuffled. Done. Boom. And how about this? After eating, before heading over this way, um, I'm going to move and take a rest to get rid of that tired thing, and then I'm going to clean up. So that's the plan. We're going to go ahead and move over here. That's going to take two times, or energies, or whatever you want to call it, uh, but I don't need any successes, so it's just these two. Good. There's a curse. Do I want a remember card? Um, yeah, let's hold on to this remember, because I could use it to uh, get the bow back in my hand. That's really what I want. All right, so I need to remember how to make a bow. I'm going to replace the splint with that. Um, and oh, okay, I'll do this. I'll do this soon. Man, my piles are messy. And let's go ahead and remember. Wait, did I ever draw that card 101? Uh. Like, do you remember from that two successes? I was supposed to draw a card 101, I think. Let's just double check. I don't remember what that was. Oh, was that a tired? Oh, that one was tired. Okay, that's how I got tired. That was dumb. I got tired from, I thought it was going to be real good. What card was it? Oh, it might be back in the thing. Anyway, you remember the one that had the two stars and then it said draw card 101? That's how I got tired. I don't like that. Uh, all right, so here we go. I'm gonna remember I want to get the bow back But remember I'm not huh, remember. I'm not just getting the bow back It's that I'm remembering how to make a bow so I can go make it again Let's see rope Where is it raft? Oh, there's my bow. Okay. Okay, got it And I do want to rest like, you know, hang out in the hammock. Uh, should I make my bow now? Hmm, I could. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the bow constructed now. So, I'm going to need three. I'm on a space with red seaweed, so just two instead. And I don't need any successes. I'm pretty good at making this bow at this point. So, these two. 
the woven basket and the examine notes. I still don't know what this notes thing is, but I have space in my head, so let's grab it. And finally, we can go ahead and take the rest action. Uh, but remember, we are over here, so when we take the rest action, we uh, can spend less time. Right now we're at zero, but we do have an instant success. I need two to totally succeed. Let's just make sure that we succeed and we don't waste any more of these cards. I'm going to choose zero, and we have two successes because I'm going to discard this one. And that's going to let us return this card. So here, we'll just do that all at once so that I'm not tired anymore. Uh, what am I doing? This goes here, this goes here. All right, so having said and done that, let's just take a mental recap before I shut this down. I think I am gonna end my turn. Do I wanna end it here? Maybe I wanna walk up here and end it here. Cause I could end the turn here, and then when we reset up, I'm gonna have two cards and I can make either one of them a crystal one. I've got, uh, I'm just taking a peek here, four more crystals in the box plus this one. And I still haven't seen an end trigger. It might just be to go through all of those crystal cards. Um, yeah, so we might have at least one more play session, maybe two or three. I've got two fragments so far. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so depending on, we might be going up this way, but this just looks like a small island. I thought this was going to be a part of a bigger island. So maybe what we'll do really quickly is move up here, kind of make this where we spend the night um, listening to the rocks. We're going to come up here. Maybe I'll take a peek there to see if I need to do anything with it. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's move up here. And that way when we restart, we've got this stuff and I can head over towards the submarine if needs be. And I just need to remember the submarine is in that direction. And I guess I can remember because, you know, I've been recording this so I can always rewind. So here we go. I'm going to spend two time to come up here. And with these two, um, what have I got? A remember and a medical examination. Take four cards from the discard pile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want this um, back in my memory. Well, not really my memory, but it's here. And then uh, probably first thing what I could do is use this, especially because I am uh, good at, yeah, I'm good at this one right here. So that is a success. Okay, cool. So that's going to be my plan for right now. So come back next time. I'm going to start right here. We're going to see what's on this side. Got to check what's happening up here. And then probably we're going to be making our way back to the submarine. But at least we know what we're doing. I hope we make it back with enough energy and we don't die. I've got to really get serious about exploring these crystals. Thankfully, I'll have some opportunities uh, to do that again. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you caught anything that I definitely messed up uh, or, you know, if you have anything to say or exciting to say, don't spoil me on the submarine. I didn't even know that was there. No spoilers, people. No spoilers in the comments, please, for the love. Uh, nobody's done that yet. I just want to make sure that that doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, so when you come back, you're going to see this, and I'll get some new cards drawn for over there and all of that stuff. Um, because I did the cleanup in the first video and the process is exactly the same, I'm just going to do it off camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, see you later. Bye.